Here we go. Finally. Sit down so you don't fall out. Yes, sir. Here's another question. Who are we? We seem to be some British lady. But I don't know. I don't exactly know who we are. Here we go. Let's see if anything's different here. One week later. The Honorable East India Company Insurance Assessment for the good ship Overden. Victim of calamitous events at sea. Prepared by the Company Office of Investigation. Oh my god, there's 23 pages. Okay, buckle up. Let's see. So the ship was officially damaged in a squall in the Atlantic. Sunk in storm? But we just left the Oberdin. Oh, did it actually just get sunk because it wasn't manned? I don't know. 20,000 pounds. All cargo lost. Company and Crown both get insurance claims. I assume company means the East India Company. Because I think the insurance is different. Or did the East India Company handle the insurance? I don't know how this works. These are all our fates. Hey, look at that. Martin. Fate unknown. Findings of merit. Extraordinary valor. Exceptional performance of duties. State awarded outstanding wages and reward. Does that mean that we literally did everything in our power to figure out who everyone else was? I'm not reading all of this, but... Actually, let's see... I am curious. Oh, interesting. So, the captain's estate was forfeited to the crown. Oh, interesting. Also, criminal findings, murder of crewmate four times. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, so, I guess that forfeits a, uh, an insurance payout. And then William attempted mutiny, so the state fined 25 pounds. Attempted mutiny and theft of cargo from Edward Nichols. You know what? Yeah, that's fair enough. Murder of a crewmate. Wow. But Alfred, the bosun, exceptional performance of duties. The state awarded outstanding wages and rewarded 70 pounds. Let's see. Bozen's mate murdered... When did the squid murder someone? When did he kill anyone? Interesting. Uh... Okay. Oh, apparently they paid Henry. That's interesting. Findings of merit extraordinary valor for James Wallace. That's nice of him to say. Winston, extraordinary valor. Thank you. That man went out with a bang. Uh, Marcus Gibbs. Outstanding wages donated to pension fund. I don't know what that means exactly. Meal, the butcher. Exceptional performance of duties. Same with Christian Wolf, exceptional performance of duties. Yeah, the gunner's mate, our uh, mystery man for so long, murdered a crewmate, so attempted mutiny as well. Uh, Duncan, of course, abandonment of crew and vessel. This is interesting. I didn't think much of these other guys. No claim made for Nunzio Pasqua, I don't know why. Or for Abigail, weird. Oh, because they were pass. Nunzio was a passenger? That makes more sense that he was so, like, confused. Why was he down there? Why was Nunzio down in the cargo hold? I don't know. I mean, I suppose that's where his cargo was, so maybe he was looking for something of his? I don't know. 
Emily Jackson, criminal findings, murder of crewmate. Wow. Damn. They don't even care. They don't even care about the situation. They just go, oh, crime. <laughs> um, yeah, Miss Jane Bird's alive, of course. They uh, don't care about Miss Lim. Huh. I'm just looking for anything interesting. Philip Dahl. He murdered somebody, yeah, and failure to perform duties. Paul Moss, exceptional performance of duties. Thank you. That feels pretty good. Uh, Samuel Galligan, attempted mutiny, theft of cargo, yep. I didn't have anything to say about Roderick, huh. Abandonment of crew and vessel for Davy James, fourth mate Stewart. Right, he's in. He's alive. He's one of the four that made it out. Pete, extraordinary valor. That feels really good. Uh, they didn't say anything about Thomas though, despite him also really trying to save his buddy. Let's see. Extraordinary valor, exceptional performance of duties for uh Charlie. Right, because he fought that thing. Omid, exceptional performance of duties. Yeah, he, I mean, damn, he was around for a long time. And he uh, he did some crazy stuff in Soldiers of the Sea. He was climbing around, he was doing all kinds of stuff. During the middle of a storm, too. Extraordinary Valor for Timothy, who, of course, got shot by Nichols. Exceptional performance of duties. Extraordinary Valor. Attempted mutiny from uh that was the that was the topman who was serving as like Nichols' translator for the Formosans. And I bet that he uh, what's his how do you pronounce that? Lee Hong? I bet that he's the one that Nichols got to frame Hak Seng Lao for the murder of Nunzio Pasqua. Because of course the Formosans probably didn't speak English. So they needed a translator. And Nichols went, Here, use this guy as a translator. He totally has no bias. I bet that's what happened. Lee, of course, got extraordinary valor. Uh, damn, they didn't have nothing to say about Nick. That sucks. Maba. Extraordinary valor, exceptional performance of duties. Yep. Uh, he was from New Guinea, I think, right? Yeah, so he doesn't have an estate known. Lewis Walker uh, attempted mutiny. Nothing else, though. And then Leonid, of course, murder of a crewmate, murder of Paul. That sucks. Uh, mutiny, mutiny. Murder of Lars. Lars. Poor guy had nothing, really, despite him hanging out for so long. Exceptional performance of duties from John, who had his sword. Uh, he was. What happened to him? His leg was taken off by the uh, by the Captain Steward. That's right. Uh, he died of illness. Crushed by a cannon. Exceptional performance of duties for William Wasim. There you go. He was the one who died from... Um, they were trying to take that monster fish captive, right? And he got crushed on the way down. Yeah, I think so. Syed died of an illness, of course. Um... Exceptional performance of duties from our gentleman from Sierra Leona, whose name I unfortunately cannot pronounce. Brennan, murder of crewmate. Interesting. Yeah, he was a very bloodthirsty man, but he only got away with one of those murders, apparently. Alexander Booth fell overboard. Uh, who was he again? Oh, that's right. He was um he was the guy who saw Lars die, and he went, "Oh my God." <laughs> Yeah, uh, so, demerit abandonment of crew and vessel. O'Hagan, attempted mutiny, theft of cargo, of course. Uh, George Shirley, extraordinary valor. He got blasted by the cannon along with Christian Wolf, I believe. And then Samuel Peters, nothing for him, really. Yeah, he died at the very beginning. Total claimed, I assume that's the maximum, 29,260 pounds. 
On behalf, oh, sorry, a preliminary draft of this assessment has been approved by the Royal Trade Guarantor. I don't know how to pronounce that word. On behalf of the Honorable East India Company, I certify all statements as accurate and declare this matter closed in its entirety. Me. I can't read that. H-E-I-C, Chief Inspector. What's that stand for? There's our Memento Mortem Pocket Watch. It remains in my possession. Okay. The book returns to its original owner, Henry Evans in Morocco, as requested. Pack it up. Let's finish this thing. What now? One year later. Where are we? Whoa. Are we at our desk? Having a bit of tea? Up. So this must be my place then. This is where I live. Can't really see what's on the shelves. I'm just trying to figure out who I am, you know? Oh, I set my tea aside. It's a small place then. Didn't sound like uh, much more than this room. <laughs> nah, it must be more than that, right? Stormy night. Alright, let's do this. Can't read most of that. Yeah, I don't know what any of that says really. That's a body part, isn't it? Chief Inspector, I write to you with the unfortunate news that Dr. Evans has passed away. That's sad. He succumbed to his illness shortly after receiving your package. He was very pleased with your correspondence and asked that his gratitude be expressed by returning the book to you, along with the means to complete it. As for the three of us that remain, the Ober Din is a distant memory and a dreadful chapter in our lives that we wish to forget. Do not write back. Regards, Jane Bird. Am. Okay. There's the letter. There's the book, of course. Has this changed at all? This tale belongs to you now. Please finish it, Henry Evans. Come through and make sure nothing's changed. I don't think any of this would. Let's go to the bargain maybe and see if that's different. Because none of this looks any different. Not that I'm looking very hard, but I'm assuming it's not going to change. That's different. What about the back of the book? That's now not shaded in. Oops, I meant to close it. That's the letter. Oh god, what is this? Yeah. Whose hand is that? Please tell me it's not Martin's. Tell me it's the Swedish guy's. So scared. Collect your things. Where's the key? To that door. Gone. Damn. There's no time. We need to go. Right. 
What the hell? What? Oh no! Martin got spiked by some beast that was in here. Oh god, here he is. What the hell happened to his hand? He reached in. Look, it's this thing again. What's happened here? What the hell were you doing, Henry? There was Martin in there. Friendly but not entirely pleasant monkey companion was sacrificed in the pursuit of knowledge. Two others were present. Paul Moss and Henry Evans? Where the hell was Paul? There. What? And so wait, it was the monkey's mummified hand that we got? Oh no. Who are we going for, Martin? Why was Martin in the lazarette? Did he get thrown there because the captain blamed him for Abigail's death? A third shell! The captain didn't toss them all! Leave it! Help me lift this! Stop! Why? Well, are you free! Give it the shell! He... Do it! Hoisting out. Oh, no. Throw it over. Lock the door when, when you leave. Get the tail, boy. They return. The ship. Oh no. They were ta they gave the siren back what she wanted, but she lashed out and killed Martin before he could make his proposition. And she knew. This thing's intelligent. This is Paul. And um what's your name again? Davy. Fourth mate Stewart. Oh, Martin. Oh, man. Okay. Well, it's one more fate. That is incredibly sad. Let's see. He was spiked. And finally, you, Philip. What more can you tell us? What? What's happening? Huh? Oh, hang on. More than Philip. One of them's dead? Interesting. Okay. I can't see in there, so it's hard to tell. Oh! Oh my god. Okay, well, he's nothing short of mad. It's 
just the captain trying to threaten the Kraken by killing the sirens. Oh, it's music. Okay. Captured beast fought against its jailer and was speared for the trouble. Now, Philip? Another one. Oh no, it's just gonna be the same thing, isn't it? But more desperate. Call it off, damn you! This is your Kraken! You brought it here! Send it back! Oh my god. Nobody's down here. There's nothing really more to be learned. What's this? I don't even know. Why does it seem important? Oh man. So was the third one spared, or did he kill all of them, and they're dragging out a corpse with the shell? And this is in the middle of the Kraken attack, by the way. An unholy creature's defiant shrieks were greeted with a fatal bullet. Okay. Now it's your turn, Philip. Is there anything that you could possibly reveal to us? You seem to know something. Oh my god. They burned for it. I don't think Mercury sets your skin on fire. That's not Quicksilver. So what the hell is it that combusts every time someone touches it? I don't know. Was anyone around? No. What the hell was Henry doing? I don't understand. Pursuit of knowledge. Was he trying to figure out how the pocket watch worked? Burned. We just solved the entire book, I got the achievement. Done. And done. Okay. Now what? Before we press tab and something happens, I'm gonna go back to bargain. We're going to go through this one more time. First of all, it happened here, after the Doom. Fair enough, right? The other two chapters happened, like, over here. It is mid-Kraken attack, or at least partially during the Kraken attack of the Doom? Part 1. At some point, Philip kills himself. On accident, I assume. And then, during the Kraken attack, the captain storms in, he kills two of the three prisoners? 
I don't know how many there were. It also makes me think, were the sirens dead when Nichols brought them back? Or were they rendered unconscious by whatever Bang did to the shell? And did Bang know what he was doing when he died? I think so. I really think that he knew what he was doing, and he was trying to stop the attack or something. He was doing something that he felt was important. The captain kills two of the prisoners. Martin, in a desperate attempt to make... Hold on. This is the important part, I think. The third shell. Captain didn't toss them all. Okay. Sorry, how many were there? The Formosans had one. One of the sirens that was taken prisoner probably had the second. Oh, wait. Maybe, maybe the sirens, both the sirens, had shells of their own. And the third was in the Formosan chest, but it was closed again and they didn't know how to get it out. But Philip opened it through him killing himself. Right? He got it open. The captain was in too much of a hurry to notice that third one. And it was the third shell that kept the crack in there. But, I don't know. Because there was clearly a third siren prisoner. The captain killed two. The third, Martin comes along, and he bargains with it properly. It costs him his life, but it seems to actually stop after that initial burst of aggression when it's given its shell back, and it allows itself to be freed. And by doing that, it seems that... Oh god. Maybe they brought the Oberdin back. Lock the door when you leave. Maybe so that the captain won't know. Two others were present. And then, Henry Evans comes down. Friendly but not entirely pleasant monkey companion was sacrificed in the pursuit of knowledge. There you are. Collect your things, V. Where's the key? Henry's there. Paul's coming to get him, to send him off. Right, this is part of probably Martin's plan. It says the key to the lazarette is just gone. They got rid of it. Henry has the pocket watch. And he knows that in order to record what happened here, he has to leave a body that he can track back with the pocket watch in the lazarette. I think that's what happened. So he sacrificed his little monkey friend, which is incredibly cold-blooded, by the way and took the hand of the thing back with him, mummified, preserved, so that there was a trace of the lazarette. So that he could have the full story. Okay. Now what? Oh. Well, for once, the lazarette is technically open. Let's leave. What happens now? I don't know if there's even going to be an explanation. What are we doing? What's happening? We're filing the book away? The end. Oh, or my dad. Huh. I wonder what the story behind making of this game was. 
Yeah, I imagine they would probably need a lot of people to help uh, make sure this is as accurate as possible. You need a lot of different people who speak a lot of different languages and a lot of different people with accents, you know? Wow. Well, that was fantastic. I guess now that the series is finishing, I personally need to go and like watch a YouTube video or two and see uh, what the story of this game was and if I was even close. You know, I'm sure plenty of people have put it together. Wow. That was a very unique game. I had loads of fun playing it. Um, I'm, I don't play like detective games or, or mystery games or anything like that. So this was definitely a unique experience for me. Wow. Well, thank you all for watching. Hopefully, the next time you see me, we'll be back in the Dungeons of Dark and Darker. But if not, I'm looking at some other possibilities, thinking about playing a game called Dredge next. And uh, after that, then we have some options. We can play Baldur's Gate 3, or if that takes long enough, maybe we'll play some Starfield. It's all up in the air right now. We'll have to wait and see more. Hopefully there's some news coming about when Dark and Darker is coming back. But until then, thank you for watching.